What's going on you guys? I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Thanks for tuning into another Jobber tutorial. This is going to be episode three all about adding users, i.e. your employees. you guys this is the home screen and by now this should be familiar to you so let's go up to the top right hand corner to the little gear icon click on that scroll down to manage team click on manage team now this is going to bring up your users okay i have already added in a few but we're going to add one in together okay so there is me uh, Billy Bob John and Rachel okay so Billy John and Rachel are my employees but we just hired one so we're gonna add another one okay if you want you can upload an image never did that before but you can if you want to their name their email address their phone number and their home address okay so let's start off with adding their name so this is Jason Doe his email account is jobber demo mlc at gmail.com. His phone number is the same as everybody else's. And his street address is in any town USA. Alrighty. So that is the basics for your employees information. Now, right under here is the preset permission levels. This is what is going to determine what they are allowed to do in this software. Okay. If they are just a, a basic employee, just a worker. Okay. You want to pretty much keep them at a limited worker. Okay. That's going to allow them to view their schedule, mark a job complete and track their time. That's pretty much all you need to do for the employee. Now, depending on their hierarchy in your company, if they're a, you know, a key employee or if they're a manager, supervisor, whatever, you can give them more access to this software and it starts right here. And these are the default presets, okay? So if you have a manager, you can click on that and you'll see how the little, uh, the, the dots changed, okay? So say that again, how it changes. Now that's just the, the presets, okay? If you go under here and make any changes, it will then be custom. So you can click custom and go in here and make any changes that you want, okay? But for the sake of this video, Jason is just a, a laborer, just a worker, and doesn't need much access to the software other than a schedule, mark a job complete, or track his time. So you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. Right here, it says save user click on save user alrighty if Jason quits gets fired whatever happens you can deactivate that employee right there where it says deactivate okay now over here on this column it's gonna say timesheet okay it's right here so click on timesheet now let's go to Jason this is Jason's timesheet for today okay and when he goes to his phone, he can log in. Okay. Once you set him up as a user, he's going to, it's going to send him an invitation to the software. He then logs into that, creates a password, and he's now a jobber user. He'll be able to access his schedule. Okay. Based on the jobs you create, and then he will be able to clock in and clock out. That is it. Okay. So when Jason clocks in on his phone, the time will be right here. So let's just say he clocks in at 10 o'clock in the morning and he clocks out at six o'clock at night. So he worked an eight hour shift. Okay. So when you pull up Jason's timesheet, this is what you will see. Okay. Because it will have already be, been entered by Jason. Now, if Jason forgets to clock out or forgets to clock in, you are the only one that can edit that. Okay. So you will click on edit and let's say he should have clocked out at four o'clock. You can change that to four o'clock. Okay. So now he worked a six hour shift and you can, you can make a note right here. You can say, uh, Jason fell to clock 
out on time. And then save it. Okay, so right there it says Jason failed the clock out on time. Alrighty, now that that's been added, all right, you want to go to, if it's the end of the week, the end of the pay cycle, however you do your, your payroll. Um, I used to do approved timesheets at the end of every week. So let's say it's Friday at the end of the business day. I would go to approved timesheets. Okay. All of your employees will be right here. All of the time that they worked will be right here. Okay. So this is January 27th, it's Wednesday and he worked six hours. Alrighty. So let's, uh, let's actually go back and create another time so you can see this. Okay. So let's go back a day. Alrighty. So this is the 26th. I'm going to enter in another time for Jason, just so you can see how this works. Okay. Now approve timesheets. This is what it's going to look like. So each user is going to be listed and then it's going to show their time. Okay. The first day of that week, Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so on, so on. And it's going to add their time up right there. Okay. So if everything looks good, approve it. If something doesn't look good, you've got like a 23 hour right here. That user did not clock out. You're going to have to go back and edit that. Okay. Well, this all looks good. So let's approve it. So you've approved all the timesheets. Hours have been successfully approved. You're all called up. Congratulations. Go over here to the left. Okay. Under approved timesheets, you're going to click on confirm payroll. Okay. Now, Jason is the only one that worked. He worked 12 hours that week and he is awaiting payment. So you issue jason's check for 12 hours he does not have any expenses if you're in a service injury or a service industry or business where your employees and crew expenses they will log that in there then you can reimburse them or you know take it out of there or, or, or put it in their check whatever however you want to do it but anyways um so i'm writing jason's check and sending it jason has been paid this right here is where you keep tab on all of your payroll, okay? And everybody has been paid. There are no hours left to be paid. There are no expenses left to be paid. Everybody's happy and everybody has their money. So that is adding a user, approving their timesheet, and confirming payroll. One more thing I do want to show you with users now that you have your employees set up in your account. Let's go over here to jobs. Okay, on the left, click on job, and you're gonna create a new job. Alrighty, click on one of your client names, John Fescue. This is gonna be a basic lawn service or whatever you need to do. Um, so this is gonna be a weekly lawn service, blah, blah, blah. Start date and end date is just gonna be today. And let's see, it is 10.08 a.m. currently. So let's do this one for 10.30. So 10.30 to 11.30. Now, right here is your team, okay? Right there, okay? And this is what you want to click on, the Assign tab, okay? So click on Assign, and here is all of your users, your employees, okay? So if Billy, Jason, and Rachel need to service this property, okay, they're on that truck, that route, whatever, okay, select them, Billy, Jason, and Rachel, okay, and you will see right there, Billy, Jason, and Rachel have all been selected, and they will be the only ones that can see this job when they log into their app. It just keeps everything organized and clean. So if your other employees... Uh, John, Megan, and myself log into Jobber. They don't see this job, okay? They only see what is assigned to them, alrighty? And now Billy, Jason, and Rachel all have the ability to clear this job out to complete it. So basic loan service for 50 bucks. Um, no other notes. We're just going to keep this simple. Save the job, okay? And let's go back over here to the left. Click on week and you will see right there the job that you just created at 1030 okay for mr john fescue basic lawn service okay so let's click on that and view the details 
So, this is Mr. Fescue's information, okay? And here's the team members that are gonna be there, alrighty? Now, at any point, uh, when they get done, they can complete this, okay? Now, I've got my phone right here, and it is set up with Billy Bob, okay? So I'm gonna play the part of Billy Bob. I just clicked on Jobber, and I've got two tabs at the bottom, Schedule and Timesheet, okay? Now you will see right here, okay, that's the daily schedule for Billy Bob and the little green box, okay? That is the job for today. And if there's multiple jobs, they'll all be lined up, okay? So all you need to do is click on that, okay? And then you will see exactly what I saw on the desktop, okay? But if I'm Billy Bob the employee and we just got done, I'm gonna mark it complete, okay? And it's going to say, great job today, because you completed everything. So, that's pretty much it. And then you will see right here, you know, whenever you update your system, it should mark it off. And you see that. I did not mark that complete. Billy Bob did out in the field. Okay? Something else I want to show you with that is, when you click on it, click on it, view details, right there, completed. It's going to timestamp it and everything and who completed it, okay, or who selected it. But it could have been any of the team members, depending on what uh, authorizations you give them, what permissions you give them. But it's going to show when they completed it. So if you tell your crew, hey, when you get done with the job, complete each thing. It's going to help you keep track of time and how long it's taking them to do those services. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for adding users, um, checking their timesheets confirming payroll and putting them on a job if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it if you're enjoying this job or tutorial series please let me know in the comment section down below if there's other things that you would like to see let me know I, i'll definitely consider it uh, this being a new series i promise you there's a ton of content coming uh, and i'm trying to start off each episode and kind of building that foundation so just remember that adding users is only for the Connect and Grow Plan members, alrighty? Connect, you can add up to 7 users, and the Grow Plan, you can add up to 30. If you've got the Core Plan, unfortunately, that's only for one user. You cannot do what we just did today, okay? Only for Connect and Grow. Again, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you next video.